Hey, how's it going out there, guys? Uh, today, I wanted to do a, just a real quick video. Um, I didn't break out the whole video recording setup and everything. Uh, I wanted to be—I wanted this to be really nice um, and short for you guys. I see a lot of questions on Thingiverse in the um, when, how uh, forums and other forums that I'm in that uh, people don't know how to do simple things like just getting a file onto an SD card and, and getting it printed through their printer. So uh, I know it's very basic and a lot of you guys are definitely not going to be interested in this, but for a lot of our newcomers, this is definitely going to help them out. So um, yeah, here we go. So uh, two things that you want to have, um, and you need to get your uh, micro SD card and your USB to micro USD adapter out of your, your kit. Um, and it would have come with the... Um, with the printer so um, what you'll need to do is you're going to uh, take the SD card and you're just going to slide it in there it can only go in one way uh, but you'll put it in there like that and then simply just going to plug that into your computer into a USB slot on your computer so you hear a beep just like that okay so once we have that done you're going to want to go to uh, Thingiverse and you're going to want to find a file that you can, um, that you can, you know, that you want to make. So just click on the file. And then you'll see here, I'm going to, my kid is into this stuff right now. So I'm going to download the files here. Now you'll see this page pop up. You're going to need to unzip this folder. I could, I sometimes can, I've always tried to drag these right into the, um, into the slicer but it doesn't work so what I have to do is I have to hit the arrow right here and back up find my file and then I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna use 7-zip now 7-zip is a um, just an unzip you know program that can unzip files that you know need to be unzipped so you'll need to have one of those on your computer if you're gonna do this and you're gonna need this regardless no matter which way you're going to do it, if you're going to even do a USB to the, you know, from the computer to the printer, you're still going to need to have a, a zip program. So, um, so once you have your zip program, you're going to go in and uh, you're going to left click on it and then go over to where you see extract files. Just left click extract files. This will pop up and this is basically telling you where it's going to download that file to. Now, I want it to download directly into my downloads right here so I can find it easily. So I'm going to click OK. So now I got to go through here and try and find uh, where it's at. Now I can see it's right there, um, fidget spinners. So I'm going to double click on fidget spinners. And you're going to see a bunch of different options here. Uh, files, image, um, attribution, license, and readme. So you're just going to click on files. And then you're going to see three different types of um, variants of this of this part so um, what you can do if you want to you can actually let's minimize that you're gonna want to open up your um, your slicer now you can use anything Cura 2.5 I would highly recommend just to get started until you get familiar with what settings are and all that stuff is to uh, the micro USB card that you got plug that into your computer open it up and you're gonna actually see a folder that has mono price emblem on it double click on that and it will actually download a, a version of Cura right to your computer so you'll automatically have a slicing software um, so that's what we're gonna use today just because it's the easiest and you're gonna get one of the nicer prints just for starting out and not knowing all the settings this is probably gonna be your best bet so what you need to do now is you have your slicer open, you have your page open here with your um, with your STL files. You just want to either grab, uh, just click and hold, left click and hold, and then drag it into the slicer, or double click it and it should go automatically into there. So once we're in there, you can see um, if you right click and hold, you can actually spin the part around. Um, so it's there. If you need to rotate it, you'll see a bunch of different options down here. We'll have rotate, scale, and mirror. I can actually make this flip 180 degrees and just, uh, not 180 degrees, but just mirror it so that it's completely black backwards. 
Um, I can rotate the part and I can rotate it in any different direction. Sometimes this is handy because some of the parts that you're going to download will actually need to be rotated to be optimized uh, for your um, for your print. So sometimes you'll want to just rotate some of these parts around in here um, so that you don't have to build uh, you know supports and things like that. So um, that's what that is. It's just basic. Now once you get the parts situated and you have everything good to go, you just want to click uh, Toolpath to SD. So you just want to click that up in the uh, upper left hand corner there. You're just going to click uh, SD card and you can see there that it just saved to my SD card. So now all I need to do is uh, just either exit out or eject. Um, so we'll eject that and it always says uh, save or move failed but I don't know why it does that. Disregard that though, you close that box out and now we're ready to just unplug our SD card and pull out the mini USB out of it or the mini SD card and you're gonna see that your SD card has the um, connector you know there you wanna have that facing up and we're actually gonna just slide that directly into the machine just like that and that's it we're gonna turn on the machine and we're gonna wait for it to boot up now I'm just gonna pull the camera over here so you can see it a little bit easier Okay, so now once we get this screen up, we're going to want to click, just push in on the thumb wheel, and we're going to scroll down to SD card. Now, you most likely are going to have to mount the card first. So when you, when you go into SD card, you're going to click on it, and you're going to see it says back or mount card. You actually want to mount card and then go up to print file. Now all you need to do is just pick out the part that you want to print out and you're just going to click like that. And that's basically it. Uh, from there, you're good to go and it's going to actually do a whole warm up process on your printer. And once it's warmed up and ready to go, uh, you have your filament in there of course, you've leveled your bed and you made sure that your print surface is clean. It'll start printing. So. And there you guys go. If you have um, any questions or comments, please, if you could, leave them down below. I'll try to help all you newcomers as much as I can. I'm actually printing a, much, a bunch more videos uh, just showing some of the early mods that you want to do to your printer to help get the best prints you possibly can out of it. So there you go. If it helped you out, if you could, do me a favor and just leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe for more. Thanks a lot.